Find the equation of the ellipse. Uh, we're given the vertices, which are the endpoints of the major axis, and we're given the length of the minor axis, so solution. Let's draw a picture to see if we can figure out what's going on. So let's see, 10 comma 9, that means we go um, right 10 and up 9, so maybe that's here. And then 10 comma 1, maybe that's here. So it looks like this distance here will be 8, right, 8. And here's the center of our ellipse, right? And these are the endpoints of the major axis. That's what vertices are. So our ellipse has a, a, a major axis that's vertical. So let's, let's find the center. How do you find the center of, of this ellipse? Well, you find the midpoint, right? It's, it's the point right in the middle. So let's find the midpoint of the vertices. So how do you find the midpoint? You add the x's and divide by 2. So 10 plus 10 over 2. And then you add the y's and divide by 2. So 9 plus 1 over 2. So you end up with 20 over 2 is 10. 10 over 2 is 5. So that's the center of our ellipse. And we know that this distance here is half of 8. So half of 8 is 4. So a is 4. We're also told that the length of the minor axis is 4. So half of that is b. So, so b is 2. So let's write down the formula. This will be x minus h squared over b squared plus y minus k squared over a squared. And I wrote the a squared under the y term because the major axis is vertical. This picture is kind of hard to see. Let me, let me draw it again down here. So here's the center, right? And then this distance is 2, and, and this distance is 2. That's how we got the 4, right? That's how we used 4, right? We cut it in half. Okay, so B is 2, and H is 10, and K is 5, and A is 4. So this will be X minus 10, quantity squared. Uh, B is 2, so you get 4. B squared is 4, plus Y minus 5, quantity squared. And A is 4, so A squared is 16, and this is equal to 1. And that is the equation of the ellipse.